Okay, so if you're going to trace from the uh F common carotid artery and the left septic. Common carotid artery. To two, when that goes inside the skull, you have your internal carotid artery. When that goes externally, so you have your external carotid artery. Okay, so what are the branches here? So when that goes underneath, say mong tang. So this will now be your lingual artery. Okay. So the other one that goes to protrochlear artery. So protrochlear. So protrochlear. Uh, the branches of facial artery. And this one would be your superficial temporal artery. Superficial temporal artery. Then here's the occipital, you have your occipital artery. Maxillary more at the level of maxillary. I'm not so sure if ever more maxillary. Um, here, um, you have one artery here, you have this vertebral artery. Atong atong behind sa mong skull, vertebral. And this would be your Osteocervical tracts, branch of the subclavia. Okay, next the uh, veins. So supratrochlear vein. And this would be your facial vein. Temporal vein. Then here is the uh, occipital, so occipital vein. Behind the ear, so you have your posterior auricular vein. And behind the mandible, you have your retromandibular vein. So, and you have here a small vein that takes the blood towards the subclavian. So you have mandibular vein. Canning was larger. You have your internal jugular vein. Internal jugular vein. Internal jugular vein with your brachiocephal, uh, with your subclavian forms now brachiocephalic vein. And your two brachiocephalic veins would fuse together to form your superior vein. Okay, 